everybody, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate here once again for another compelling episode in uh, Cinevate's Video University. Today we're going to talk about uh, one of the devices that we've designed to help you with focusing. And when we look at a typical rig like this, and I guess you wouldn't necessarily call this typical, but this would be the Canon 5D Mark II, which we have fitted with one of our Cinevate uh, Duras Focus gears, which you can see uh, wraps around the lens and gives you a, a really a, a perfect 0.8 pitch gear that you can keep turning. Um, so for certain lenses that require more than 360 de degree rotation, we've got these great focus gears. Um, our Duras Follow Focus has been a very popular product with us, uh, for us, um, and it's a lifetime warranty part, but it just carries some expense, obviously. Um, so there are some people who have been saying, well, you know what, uh, it would be nice to be able to focus this lens and not have to use this focus, uh, the follow focus. And we understand that for some applications that makes sense. So what we've, done, what we've gone and done is designed something we're calling the Duras focus lever. So, or the Duras focus gear lever, rather. Um, and what does it do? Well, it's real simple. We take a gear like this, or I'm sorry, we take a lens like this, and we gear it up. So we take one of these gears, um, which you can order from our catalog. It has various lengths of spokes that you can order, and you have the option of mounting this. I've got these loose right now in various spots on the lens. So I can mount this gear fairly forward or I can flip it around. You can see that the gears are, um, sorry, the mount points for these gears are asymmetrical. They're not in the middle of the gear, they're off to one side. So what I can go ahead and do is take this off, for example, and we'll just do that, and flip it around this way and you can see that I end up with a relative different position of the gear on the lens at this point. And that's really to give me some flexibility over where I put the gear. Now, once the lens is geared up, and what you're gonna do, by the way, if you're ordering our focus gears, you're gonna measure the circumference of the outside of the area that this ring is gonna fit to. And if you look at our catalog for the focus gear, you can then spec the size of the spoke. The spoke itself, uh, most of our spokes, and soon all of them, have a nylon tip right at here, so it's not gonna mark up your lens. So we actually custom, we've had these custom manufactured for us. Um, so it's a stainless steel basically spoke with a nylon tip so it doesn't scratch anything. So that's the focus gear and once it's geared onto your lens you're going to end up with something like this. So what I'm going to do is we'll introduce the Duras focus lever or sorry the Duras focus gear lever and um, you know uh, could we have a drum roll please. And here it is it's a very innocuous looking little piece it's hard to believe that uh, an engineer, a machinist, and myself spent probably six hours on a whiteboard trying to figure out how this was going to work and how it was going to integrate to our existing gears. And we've managed to do that in a really elegant way, and I'm going to show you that. We're going to disengage this follow focus uh, from here, and we're just going to show you how this goes on, and it's really simple. It takes, and it's uh, toolless, of course, because we're trying to get into that mode with everything that we do. What you're going to do is essentially remove one of the spokes. And essentially what I've done on top of the camera here is I've done that. I've removed one of them. There's six different places you could put this, uh, depending. But really all you're going to do is we've machined a slot um, and a captivated fastener here so nothing's going to fall out. And we're just, all we're going to do is place it over one of the gears. It's, it's machined out of aluminum, anodized, and we use brass for the other part so there's nothing to rust or corrode um, in a salt environment. And there you go. Now I have a focus lever on my uh, my lens and it, I may not like it at this angle for example if I'm going to throw it in my camera bag I may actually want to adjust that so I'm just going to twist this counterclockwise like a so and you see when I do that it loosens up in here so I can actually uh, either have it straight out or bring it down to the camera like this and again I've twisted it clockwise to tighten it into place so I will just turn this around a bit so you get a good look at that from the side profile um, and there you go. What you have now, again, I want to adjust this out, is you have a way to pull focus um, where you're not actually grabbing the lens. And if you're shooting video with a unit like this Uno, it makes it easier um, to do that without grabbing onto the lens. Uh, and it's possible uh, to do this to mark your focus points uh, with pieces of tape, for example, and actually to have a focus puller do that. The great thing about this, again, if you're pulling focus with an assistant, is you're, that person doesn't have to have their hands on the lens. They can be outboard a little bit, so you can do what you're doing and they can do what they're doing. So really it's just a cost-effective way of pulling focus. And it's important to note that in this case, this is a zoom lens. Uh, there's no reason why you can't move this focus lever over here to the, to the zoom um, adjustment ring. And one of the things that you tend to find in some shots is you may want to whip through a zoom range 
very quickly, or you just may find it hard to get in there. So there's no reason why you can't use this hardware on the Zoom effectively like a professional ENG video camera that gives you uh, basically a really rapid way to get in there and adjust your Zoom. Um, so there you go. That's the Cinevate Duris Focus Gear Lever. Adjustable, uh, no plastic parts used, and you can find it in our catalog right now. So thanks so much. I hope you found that helpful. If you do have any questions, of course, you can visit us at Cinevate.com. Um, you can call us uh, 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time, Monday to Friday, or you can email sales at Cinevate.com, and uh, one of our crew will respond to you pretty much within the hour. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time at Cinevate's Video University.